Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now I know a lot of people have this issue when you're switching from Apple to Android, you lose a couple features you might love. And the one feature I know I personally love is iMessage. iMessage is absolutely amazing. And to switch over, you're not gonna have that. Wait, 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 what? Time out, time out, you are? Yes, guys, iMessage is now on Android. And it's a little bit more difficult than you might think to go ahead and get it. But it is possible, and you can have it, and avoid having to go back to your old iPhone because, you know, you just bought a brand new S20 Ultra and no Ultra, and you want to use it and not use your old iPhone. So let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. Now, a couple issues that is going to go ahead and give you when you are doing I cannot figure out how to get this when you're not using your personal Wi-Fi. So obviously if you're at your house or wherever you are, if you have Wi-Fi, this works 99% uh, of the time. But if you're on LTE, which I'm still trying to figure out how to get it working on LTE, it's not going to work most of the time for you. I have no idea why. Again, it probably is gonna be something to do with uh, whatever um, router you have. I have personally, a um comcast router but if you have another router i heard a lot of people able to go ahead and get this done and be able to use this on lte who does not have comcast if you have comcast like me you might be in a bad boat but if you don't have comcast you might be able to effectively get this done so what you're going to do guys is you're going to go ahead and download a piece of software on this uh on your imac so if you have an imac macbook macbook air it doesn't matter and if you do not own any apple products and you're like i want iMessage well i don't know why you want iMessage if you don't own apple but you can get an apple macbook mini for very cheap on ebay and you can use that as an option if you would like to but going ahead and taking a look guys once you go ahead and open up this piece of software you are going to see again this is called the air message uh let me see exactly the name of this software uh, it's called, okay, it's, it's literally called Air Message. It's linked down below in the description. You go ahead and download that software. You're going to open it up and you're going to see this is all you get. Okay, first off, you got your server port 1359, and that's going to be the typical server port for Mac computers. And then next thing you're going to go ahead and do, guys, is you're going to edit password. And this is a password you're going to use to log in to your information into your actual server to get your iMessage messages all right so that's all you're gonna do starting off the gate pretty much it now you do want to set this little thing right here to one second the reason why is because once you set that to one second you're able to go ahead and it checks every second for new messages after that guys you're going to go ahead and hit okay and now you are done uh, for that part of this now the second part you want to go ahead and do is you want to go to your online and find wherever your router online is so for example mine is comcast so i go to comcast.com or net i go ahead and i log in my information and then i can control my router settings over there i will have a video down below guys to show you exactly what i'm talking about uh, in more detail, but again, what you may be doing, guys, is once you go to your web, once you go to your um routers, uh, internet, like online, like their um, what's it called, your account online for your router, you're gonna go ahead and enter in your information. You're gonna go and log in, and then once you do that, you're going to see an option called port forwarder of port for 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 port food ordering ordering. I cannot say this word, guys. Port footering. And pretty much what this means is that you're going to go ahead and send the signal from your iMac to your internet to your Android phone. Very easy, very simple. And all you're going to do, go ahead and do that, guys, is once you log in, it's going to go ahead and say, what port do you want to go ahead and send it to? And the port we want to use is going to go ahead and be the port we saw right there, 1359, right here on the screen. We're going to put that number in and we're going to put TCP as the protocol. And for a Comcast, that's all you do. Now, for if you do go ahead and run into any issues, it might ask you for your IP address. Pull out your phone. You can find your IP address by going to settings, Wi-Fi, that kind of stuff. You can also type in what's my IP address.com and it's going to tell you IP address. 
Uh, and then once you go ahead and do that, guys, you completed that step. Now you are back on this. You're going to go ahead now and get a DNS server. Now, personally speaking, you can use any DNS server you want. I'm using Die New IP Update Client 2. So just type in uh, Die New IP uh, down below will be a link to it. You can go ahead and download that, set up a free account. And all you're going to do on that, guys, is create a little thing is going to create a DNS server. It's very easy to do. You're just going to type in a name. You're going to go ahead and hit create. And that is it. Now, once you create that, now you are done with the MacBook and the Mac point of view. Now you're going to go ahead and go to your Android phone and you're going to be going to the Play Store. And on the Play Store, you're going to be downloading the app that I'm about to tell you about, which of course is going to be Air Message. And honestly, like I said, guys, absolutely crazy amazing it has a lot of great reviews for a reason because it's a great device it's a great app to have now going ahead and downloading once you open it it's going to go ahead and ask you for the server name the server name is going to be your dns server name you're just masking your public your ip to a public ip and then finally the password is the password you use to create in on your mac in the preferences that password right here edit password that's your password once you do that it is done it is gg you now have iMessage on your phone absolutely free absolutely insane again i didn't think it's gonna work when i first did it and it does i love it guys and now you have iMessage on your phone and you are no longer the blue bubble boy you are now a goat of all goats because you don't have to worry about actually having blue bubbles and i mean green bubbles which is absolutely insanely great and let me go ahead and do this real fast send this to my email because that's what my iphone is actually on but you guys are gonna see as i do that hey and check that out bam now again you heard that little beep right because right there it says hey delivered right it's because i'm using my macbook to redirect the message to my Android. So you're pretty much just texting from your MacBook to the person, not your Android. So that's how this all works, guys. Hope this tutorial helped you out. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe button down below. I know it kind of sucks you do have to have a Mac, but that's just how it works. It's just redirecting Mac from your Mac to your uh, phone. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.